Trafalgar D. Law is a character that everyone considers to be one of the goats of One Piece. Like, if I ask you right now who your favorite character is, 9 times out of 10, Law is going to be mentioned somewhere. However, this video will not be getting into that, and rather, I want to talk about Law's powers and what really makes him such a threat. For this video, I'm mainly going to be talking about the scaling he has in regards to the One Piece universe, so I will be doing my best to refrain from mentioning things such as calcs, since there's mainly two types of viewers on this channel. The one kind, which basically already gets where I have the One Piece characters at and I'd just be repeating myself, or the second half who aren't too big of fans of power scaling and would rather want me to just more so stick to the in-universe stuff. And with that being said, here is how strong is Law. The first thing that comes to mind when mentioning Law's strength is his Devil Fruit. The OPOP OP no Mi allows the user to create a sphere of blue aura which can manipulate the fabric of space. Usually, Law tries to expand this aura into a blue dome he likes to call Room, or the way he says it, Damn it. Oh my god, bro, like the way he says it is so clean, bro. And if you're in his room, you're essentially just in his domain. Bro can cut you without you actually feeling it or being injured due to him cutting you with space, swapping your body parts around with other body parts or inanimate objects, can swap your location or even the souls out of your body, can remove your heart and essentially make the opponent fumble by squeezing it. This is the more common way Law uses his powers, but weirdly enough, these aren't even his most effective when it comes to combat. Room is definitely applicable in combat, but he usually does it on fodder, does team combos, or usually is using it to try and run away. Law can use the aura he manipulates and converge it into electricity to legit incapacitate opponents from the inside out. Can also aim for specific vital spots with injection shot, and arguably Law's most deadly ability is his gamma knife, which essentially allows him to injure all of your internal organs without leaving exterior wounds. Law's ability for the majority allows him to bypass his opponent's durability, and its only weakness was that if you could somehow get around Room's insane range, you'll be fine. And Law's stamina was also trash, so he could only use Room a few times times before getting super tired. However, not only during Wano has he spammed Room more than he ever has in his life, but he's awakened his fruit during the Big Mom fight which allowed him to conjure a variety of special Room spheres that are applied directly to specific objects instead of a designated area meaning those rooms move alongside whatever they are currently covering, which essentially removes the one weakness that Law had. Law's abilities are pretty crazy, but let's talk about Law himself and how he applies these abilities. Now if you ask me back in pre-Wano how strong Law was, I would safely say he's probably sub gear 4 Luffy. Which makes sense because Law's best attack couldn't even bring down Base Do Flamingo, whereas Gear 4 Luffy could beat up an Awakened one. However, like a lot of the other One Piece characters, they get a lot more impressive during Wano due to the overall scale of the series getting crazier. Luffy goes from losing to Katakuri in Gear 4 to doing better against him in base form, and he gets an even bigger power boost after that after taking an L from Kaido. Then pre-Rooftop, Law would show relativity to that of base Luffy and Kid. And during Rooftop, Law, for the majority of the time, is either reacting to Kaido and Big Mom or allowing the others to land attacks on him. And Law does get a power boost due to him awakening his Devil Fruit, and this would allow him and Kid to defeat Big Mom. And then he implies that he actually learned from his fight in Wano, which at least goes to show that he's improving post-Wano and also goes to show how adaptive of a fighter Law is. In the recent chapters, we see him pressing a Blackbeard post time skip, who Marco and the others wouldn't even be able to touch, and Ace lost to a way weaker Blackbeard back then. We also see him resisting his biology changing with hockey alone, and since Sabaudi with him being able to resist Rayleigh's hockey, it was implied from the get-go that Law was pretty proficient with hockey. And we know he learned how to fight ever since he was taken by Dofi's family, Bro has been strong from the get-go, and it's through legit sheer will and heart alone. If you wanted to say he was a candidate for Yonko, I wouldn't be mad, however, he did need Kid's help in order to defeat the weakest one. But I mean, hey, if you want to say Law's like Admiral level, I wouldn't even be mad. Hopefully, he doesn't die in this encounter with Blackbeard so we could see what he could be further capable of. Nah, 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 wait till I get my money right. Whoa.